Jack's first transplant, he was 14 months old, and life from then, it was good for a little while, and then Jack went into rejection. Um, he was in a coma for about 10 weeks. The kidney just took a turn for our worse, and then it was just, things went, went bad from there. The biggest challenge really is balancing, or, or the, the imbalance really, uh, between the vast number of patients who need transplants and the nim limited number of organs that we have. If and when somebody needs a life-saving transplant, uh, they often have to wait on the list for a number of years. Anywhere from 10 to 15 percent of the people who are on the waiting list die without ever receiving the gift of life. 2001, my mother passed away waiting for a liver transplant. How long is this gonna go on for? We are in a crisis when it comes to this. There are so many thousands of people on donor waiting lists and there's just not enough donors, mostly because people aren't registered. There's a lot of myths and fears associated with it. We need to let people know the importance of registering to be a donor. The reason we started the Donate Life Employee Network is because we felt that the healthcare community, including our health system, weren't doing enough to help combat this problem. The organ uh, donation crisis is an absolute priority for Northwell Health. Uh, when you think about our mission to improve the quality and health of the lives that we serve and extending life, uh, this is absolutely in line in keeping with our mission. You know, transplantation is extremely successful. Survival rate after transplant for liver and kidney transplant at one year is well over 90%. And if you consider that before transplant, these patients are often the most sickest patients in the hospital, this is phenomenal. He was heading towards dialysis when luckily we got a call that there was a, um, a kidney donor for him. When I found out I got the call, I was very scared and happy at the same time. Thank God we, you know, we, have, we have a perfect match. The, the success of transplantation really comes from the donor's organ. You do a transplant and all of these physiological parameters start getting reversed. Every day after, he just got better and better and better. And oddly enough, he grew two inches. Before his transplant, he just wanted to sleep all day, lay in bed. Now, he wants to ride his scooter outside, he wants to play ball, he wants to be outside, he wants to run chase his dog around, chase his sister around, where six weeks ago, all he wanted to do was lay in bed. There are so many people waiting for organ transplants. And, and that, really, that's why it's so important for um, people to sign up as organ donors. And so I encourage you today to sign up for the New York State Registry and become an organ donor. Please use your voice, use your platform to amplify belief in this and commitment to this, and let's do it together and raise health together. We need to spread the word how important this is. I'm sure many people, many companies, they don't realize what a crisis this is and how many people die each day on the waiting list waiting for a donor. If somebody was thinking about signing up, then I would say do it because it would save somebody else's life. If we had more organs, you know, quite, quite simply, we would be able to save more lives.